When I go out in the middle of the epidemic, I use these hand protectors to keep my hands clean and keep me from touching my face with dirty fingers. I hope you can make more of these for yourself and keep yourself safe. Instructions will be provided in the later part of the video. A printable version is in the description. I got the idea from trying to open a restaurant door with my hands in my coat pockets. The design is similar to a pocketed scarf. It is worn like a scarf, and I keep my hands in the pockets as if they were coat pockets. When I need to grab something that may be contaminated, I do so through the pockets. I may be shopping and need to push a shopping cart, I may be on a bus and need to grab a support, or I may need to grab a doorknob to open a door in a public place. My hands in the pockets will stay clean. And when I need to rub my nose or handle things that I need to keep clean, like my keys and cell phone, I instinctively take my hands out of a packet to do so, just like I would if they were in my coat pockets. If they were instead in gloves, there would be a tendency to do so with gloves on, and taking them off and putting them back on is a hassle. When they are not in use, I let them hang like a scarf, or store them behind my back with a loose twist tie if I want them completely out of the way. If you don't want the palm side touching you, you can sew Velcro to them and close them palm to palm before taking your hands out. But if you don't want to use Velcro to close the palms, you still are reducing your exposure significantly. According to expert opinion, it is not easy for viruses on fabric to make their way back out alive. Here is the design for the hand protector. I'm using salvage fabric so I can be a little wasteful. If you make the ribbon and the pocket body separately, you can save some fabric. Here are the dimensions for the pieces. If you use a simple fabric for the pocket front, you can use single double width piece folded in half instead of separate C and D pieces sewn together. To make the pocket front, Place D over C, good side to good side, and sew the top edges together. Top edge is the left side of the picture. Fold C and D around the sewn edge and iron it flat. If you are using a single piece for the pocket front, just fold it in half here. Place the pocket front on top of A, like it shows in the picture. Good side of A faces up. Outside of the pocket front faces up. Top edge of the pocket front to the left. Fold A over lengthwise, covering the pocket front. You may have to split A next to the pocket front to accommodate misalignments. If you use the optional piece B, place it on top above the pocket front. Sew the outline of the hand protector as shown in the picture. The ribbon is to be 3 inches wide. It is tapered in 45 degree angles to the pocket body. Close off the tail end of a ribbon. Do not close off the bottom edge of a pocket which is on the right side of the picture. Trim the excess fabric. Notice that I cut away two-thirds of the material around the ribbon. If you were to make the ribbon and the pocket separately, you can use less fabric. Turn the assembly inside out using a stick. There will be two ways to exit the pocket bottom. Make it exit such that the inside of a pocket bottom is exposed. You can guide the stick when it reaches the pocket by reaching in with a hand 
from the correct opening of the pocket button to grab the end of the stick. Iron the pocket flat and sew the pocket button close. At this point, you can optionally add a separate uh, thumb by cutting a four inch slit uh, from the pocket button. Offset to one side so that that side is wide enough to wrap around the thumb. Cut two inches of the thumb and then sew close the new cut edges. Turn the pocket inside out and iron it flat. You have now finished one side of the hand protector. Make a pair and tie them together. Adjust it so that when you wear them around the back of your neck, the hands are in a comfortable position in the pocket. You can do this easily while standing with the tails of a protector crossing over each other behind your neck. We are done with the protector. If you find this useful and interesting, please help me spread the words. Thank you.